Hi, I'm Marcelo Berestoboy. I teach at GIT, and one of the things I like to show my students is the very popular rumba flamenco rhythm. I think it's important uh, to understand that this rhythm is a rhythm that has gained a lot of popularity in pop music in the last uh, decade. A lot of pop artists use this uh, type of guitar rhythm in their music, and it's not necessarily the original way that flamenco players uh, play this rhythm. There's a lot of different ways to play this rumba flamenco rhythm, and if you took three different great flamenco guitar players and analyze the way they do this rhythm, you will probably find that they all do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to show you the basic hand moves that you need for the basic rumba flamenco rhythm, and those moves will allow you to understand what other guitar players are doing when you look at them, as well as play the basic rumba flamenco rhythm. I'm going to show you eight different hand moves, right hand moves. I suggest you start with your left hand on the strings to stop the strings from ringing and begin these exercises with this muted guitar sound as opposed to playing them with the chord, which we're going to do later. So I will show you all the eight moves. And when you look at figure one, you will see that I use double bars with repeat signs. The idea is that you repeat each move until you feel comfortable with the move and then you add the next move and then put the two moves together and so on up all the way to move number eight, which will conclude the whole series for the basic rumba flamenco rhythm. So let's begin with the first move. The first move is going to be with your thumb, and you're going to go down the strings. Down, 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 down. If you look at the next move on figure one, you will see one and two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's one and two. In the figure, I've used the letter T for thumb, the letter H, which is going to come in the next move, number three, for hand, and the letter P for palm. Later, we're going to be hitting the guitar with the palm of our hand. So for move number three, H, hand, you're going to hit your strings going down with your hand. And this is the one thing that you will notice. A lot of flamenco guitar players may use one finger or middle finger, the index finger, the ring finger. You can use two fingers, three fingers. I would suggest start with your whole hand going down. I mean, these three fingers going down. And then see whatever works for you for the song that you're trying to play. So let's review. One. One and two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three. It is important that at the end of move number three, your thumb is underneath the strings because on the next move, you're going to need to come up with the thumb. So one, two, three, you should be down here as opposed to one, two, three. Because if your thumb is up here, obviously it will be too hard for you to go all the way to the bottom to do that. So one, two, three, with your hand down there, and then move number four, it's up. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next move, move number five, it's just a hit on the guitar with the palm of your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you uh, moves five, six, and seven. But I suggest that you first practice one, two, three, four, five, and that you really get good at playing one, two, three, four, five, so that later when you try the whole rhythm, if it doesn't work, if you make a mistake, if you get lost, you can always go back to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to play it a little faster. Once again, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, five, six, and seven are the next moves. Five, actually five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, up with your hand, seven, down with your hand, and eight, up with your thumb. Eight 
is a move that you can barely hear. Usually when you hear people play this rhythm, seven is an accent. You will see that when you look at uh, the next figure that I have put an accent, an accent under move number seven. So eight should be very light. You barely touch the strings for eight. So let's review. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you look at figure two, you will see that I have added the accents, and the accents are on four and seven. This is really important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We will do figure two with the core E major now in the open position. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna play a little, a little bit faster. The next thing I'm going to show you is the typical Cadencia Andaluza. It's a very well-known chord progression that comes from Andalusia and from a lot of uh, very old flamenco songs. And this is a progression that you've heard many, many times. The first chord is going to be A minor, and I'm going to play it with the bar on the fifth fret. You can also do it in the open position, but I'm going to play it up here in the fifth position. Then the next chord is going to be a G major. After that, we're going to be playing F major for one bar, then F7 for one bar. All you gotta do is lift your pinky and you will get that F7. That's a very common um, harmonic change after the third chord to go to a dominant seven chord, and then the E chord. I think it's also important if you are already getting into modes to understand that this progression is not in the key of A minor and this is not the five chord in the key of A minor. This progression is a typical modal progression in the fridge and dominant uh, mode. And this is the one chord. So these chords are one, two, three, four. This is four, three, two, and one. When you end the song that you're playing in this key, this is going to be your last chord. Although in a lot of pop songs you will hear people using this progression and then playing an A minor at the end. So now we're going to apply the rhythm that we just learned to the Andalusian cadence, Cadencia Andalusa. You can see in figure three, figure number three, uh, there's two bars of four, four for each chord. So here we, we go. First I'm going to play the rhythm muted which I suggest you do too until my hand gets moving and then I'm going to go into the progression. Let's review the moves one more time before we do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you will notice that sometimes when I play, and if you pay attention to details, sometimes I don't even play eight. Sometimes I play it, sometimes I don't. Uh, you have to be kind of loose about this. You don't want to be too stiff, otherwise your rhythm would sound like this. You don't want it to sound so stiff. So when you loosen up, sometimes you miss here under one of the hits, but not the ones with the accents, which are four and seven. So here we go.
You might also probably notice that after the F, on the first time around the progression, I play the E like that. All traditional flamenco players and most guitar players would go to this position for the E, but I figure playing this rhythm a lot that if you're on an F and you have to go to an E, it's a lot easier to slide your hand like that if you have to keep the rhythm going. That way you don't have to stop the sound to switch all, your, all your fingers to another position. So let's do uh, figure number three slower. One, two, three, 